Hey everybody, check out this sweet new electric fire truck. It's one of the world's first electric hybrid models and there's a good chance it's coming to a city near you. Imagine how good you could look on this thing as we dive into its features, what it does better and if it's worth the price. Built by the Austrian company Rosenbauer, this shiny, shiny chick magnet will cost taxpayers a little more than $1.5 million a piece. Compare this to the $1.2 million for a traditional diesel and thus now evil pumper engine. This beautiful truck has already begun operating in several American cities and is now on its way to grab some poutine in Vancouver as part of their goal to reduce greenhouse emissions by as much as 60% by 2030. And hey, that's gonna cost extra monies. Rosenbauer calls this model the RT for revolutionary technology and they claim that its groundbreaking innovations will make this truck the most modern emergency vehicle in the world. Whew, okay, f me I guess. In all seriousness, this company makes some beautiful trucks, and their design and engineering process is reputed to be second to none. Starting from the ground up by using a newly developed wheel suspension system, the RT is designed to provide high levels of torque with a low center of gravity, and an impressive all-wheel turning radius. Plus, it can do that bus trick where you can lower the entrance height, allowing you to shuffle on when you're weighed down with gear, so totally worth it. The truck has a total range of 100 kilometers, or about 90 minutes, depending on its use. Now, this may not sound like much, but consider that the average response time to an incident in North Vancouver sits at 5 minutes and 42 seconds. We're too late! I shouldn't have stopped for that haircut. Sorry. The diesel engine will act as a range extender and provide additional means of go juice when needed outside of this shorter range or when conducting extended pumping operations. The batteries will ensure no fuel will be combusted while driving and are advertised to be quickly rechargeable both at the station and when you're burning diesel. Better yet, that engine will automatically deactivate when the vehicle comes to a standstill. This means that the lighting and equipment can run virtually silent on battery power, ensuring that the 6am grease fire across from your building will no longer become your problem. Many clever ergonomic and storage updates have been made for quick and easy equipment access in the event those firemen are sore from their morning workouts, while the overall model itself can also be tailored by the needs of any particular fire service by specifically scaling the pump pressures or the water and foam tank capacity. The sleek high-speed cab is no longer separated from the crew compartment. There is a clean, almost starship design that is intended to foster interaction between up to nine crew members, while the cockpit chairs are advertised as fully rotatable. This allows for maximum wink and gun opportunities to starstruck motorists. Thinking ahead, the RT has its own integrated communication system that can link back to any data or dispatch center to share information. Its onboard features are controlled by multiple detachable touchscreens and use a built-in wireless network, making the RT the first fire truck that allows you to update your Instagram on scene, is my shirt off, while simultaneously launching a fleet of air or ground drones at the touch of a button. After you've locked down that cute paramedic's number, you can then use the integrated software to link those drones together and send the collective image based analysis to every screen in or out of the truck. The RT comes with a scene lighting suite that is so cool it makes me want to set something on fire. The 300,000 lumen LED strips are said to create shadowless illumination that will outshine any modern light pole. Can someone please hack these things to neon for the DJ at my next birthday? Pairing all of this with an array of electronic cameras and mirrors that come included, the RT becomes so advanced it's provided with its own IT security and software support. Overall, this smaller truck is designed to be safer, quieter, and more maneuverable, while still running the latest firefighting technology and all with considerably less greenhouse emissions. Its European look and size is definitely a step away from our traditional looking fire apparatus, but it's a distinguished change and one purpose built for a new generation. The first truck is expected to be delivered to Vancouver in 2023, with cities in Ontario following with their own orders. And while they may cost a little bit more up front, the long-term maintenance expenses are anticipated to be much cheaper over their lifespan. Finally, what do local firefighters think? Well, after having an opportunity to play on an early concept model, fire crews have applauded the refined ergonomics. Notable excitement was also shown on the prospect of breathing in considerably less exhaust fumes, while also having an opportunity to work with the latest generation of this iconic piece of equipment. So I say, come on, isn't protecting these guys worth a little bit more? Check out this other video detailing the major changes to modern firefighting here. Thanks for watching.